For nearly 60 years, this structure has graced the Mission Beach skyline. It's a symbol of American yesteryear when amusement parks thrived all over the country. The Mission Beach roller coaster is one of the few wooden roller coasters left in the United States. It closed down in 1976, and since then there's been a lot of controversy over the fate of this national historical landmark. In 1978, the city planned to tear it down, but many were opposed to this. A group of concerned citizens formed the Save the Coaster Committee. For the past few years, they've been working hard to raise money for restoration. This party is one of many fundraising efforts. President Christine Reeves explains the importance of the project. This is uh, one of the last roller coasters of its kind. Uh, most big wooden inner city roller coasters such as this one have been destroyed. Uh, they've lost out to urban renewal over the years. This particular roller coaster is the only coaster to ever be listed on the National Register of Historic Places. And it is the last standing Pryor and Church design roller coaster. Pryor and Church were very important to uh, roller coaster design in the 1920s, 30s, and on into the 40s. This is their last coaster that is still standing. And uh, on the West Coast, I think this is, uh, we're down to three wooden roller coasters left. So it's very important for that reason. In 1982, the Save the Coaster Committee submitted a proposal for restoration plans to the city of San Diego. Their plans were approved, and the committee now owns the coaster and leases the land under it from the city. They have until August of 85 to restore it to its original 1925 condition. But Reeves is optimistic that the city will give them more time. Will the coaster operate again? That's what everyone wants to know. Right. Well, it's, it's sort of a two-part goal. Ideally, we would very much like to see it back in operating condition, and we're working towards that. However, our bottom line goal is to save it from destruction, from demolition, whether or not it operates again. The coaster has been around since 1926, so many people have questioned its safety. The coaster is in a really great state of preservation. Uh, the salt air has protected it, the wood over the years, and actually, as bad as it looks, it's, it really only looks that badly because the paint's all peeled off of it. As soon as we get it painted, it will give everybody the feeling of being more structurally sound. Actually, only about 30% of the coaster needs to be replaced, and that includes the burned areas that you see. So the rest of it, the wooden members that you see up there with peeled paint on them, are really, they're in good condition and don't need to be um, replaced. So basically the coaster is very sound. According to Reeves, community feelings have been mixed. There are many who could care less if the structure stands, and of course many who are adamant that it stays. Mission Beach resident and coaster committee member Brian McCarthy is one who definitely values the roller coaster. Well, I work downtown and when I come home at night about 4.30 and cross that bridge over the bay and see that coaster, I know I'm home. Uh, that's particularly, it's, it's a focal point for this community called Mission Beach. Let's face it, San Diego has seen a lot of changes since the 1920s, and there are very few landmarks that remain that remind us of those days. The coaster is one of the survivors, and the Save the Coaster Committee is dedicated to seeing that it stays around for at least another 60 years. Thank you for joining us this week, and tune in next week when we'll take you to Point Loma for the reenactment of Cabrillo's Landing. I'm Barbara Johnson for Take 5 San Diego.